Don't ever believe that a politician is a leader. Don't ever believe that. Because the system that we have produces politicians. It doesn't produce leaders. And so you can have a politician who knows nothing about leadership and he's leading you. Politicians are concerned about the next election. That's all they're interested in. That's why they cannot be leaders. But leaders are different. Leaders are concerned about the next generation. I want you to compare those two thoughts the next time you have a politician come to your house wanting to vie for your vote. Just ask him, uh, what is your vision for my children? I will sit and listen for 20 minutes for you to tell me what it is. He will leave your house. <laughs> because he has no interest in your children's children. His concern is to stay in power, to keep the position, to win the next election. This is why they cannot lead. When you are going to have a conversation with a politician, you should actually try this as a test. You, by the way, as a citizen of a community, you have a right to be seen by the mayor. I hope you know that. If you voted for a mayor, the mayor works for you. Therefore, you have a right to see him. You can make an appointment to see any public officer you voted for. Did you know that? That's your legal right. If he don't want to see you, you can take him to court. That's democracy. So I want you to make an appointment to go and see your mayor or go and see your governor and just sit and say, I want 30 minutes with you, sir. And ask him about that list right there. I said, sir, what is your purpose for being in leadership in this city? What is your purpose? The first question will make him very nervous. Second question, what is, your, what is your passion for our community? He'll be wondering what you're talking about. What are you talking about? I just want to build roads and bridges and, and provide jobs. No, 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 no. What is your passion? And this is why we need to question the leaders we have. And so I have a little thought here. I call it politics versus leadership. Let's talk about it for a second. Number one, politicians focus on programs, not vision. Number two, politicians' priority is securing the next election, not securing the next generation. Their focus is different. Number three, Politicians are preoccupied with promises, not purpose. What we need is statesmen, stateswomen. We don't need more politicians. A statesman is an interesting human. A statesman, think of the next generation. 